it's me, your wrestling friend, wrestling friend. I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of Friday Night Fran. I'm not gonna, but I'd like to. And I think that's what's important here. Congratulations goes out to both the internet and the news because the election is almost over. <sighs> now before you go leave it all your angry political comments, don't because I'm not gonna read any of them on account of I don't care. Now on the left we got Hillary Clinton. Now she's not the most exciting candidate. She's no Bill Pullman. You remember him, he was the president of that movie where the aliens gained their independence. Avatar, beautiful film. And over there on the right, we got Donald Trump. Now he's a real shoot from the hip kind of guy. If you look Italian, well, he'll let you do it. Here's the craziest part. No one really likes either of these two candidates, but as Americans, we gotta vote one of these two old people mannequins into the Oval Office. So in today's episode of this brand new shiny ass friggin' show I got, we're gonna figure out who the hell I'm voting for. We got a special guest. We're gonna head out on the streets to see what you friggin' people wanna say. And by the end of the day, I'll have some answers. Let's go get it. And, and action? Yeah, you just tell me when. And, and I'll go. Three, two, two, are we counting together as friends or are you counting me into the show? I'm going to count you into the show. You go ahead. Okay, then three, two, don't, don't talk. Both of us count? Uh, not one of us counts. Three, two, one. Hey, when you go like that, that's, that's me. That's when you go, yes. When hey, I'm everybody, shh. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm here with my first ever guest, independent political correspondent, Bridget Bryden. Brigida Santos. Brigida Santos. Brigida, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, question number one. I've heard a lot of scuzzlebutt about this thing being rigged. Do you think that's even possible? Who's doing it, the Ruskies? People say it's rigged because special interests and in big money, big pharma. So the farmers have a hand in rigging this thing? None. We can move on if you'd like. Brigida. Can I call you Brigida? Brigida. 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 Can I call you that? You can call me that. Good. What's the deal with Hillary's emails? I don't get it. Do you see that guy over there? Where is he? Over here? He's the producer of the show. I delete hundreds of his emails on a daily basis. No one... Shut your mail! I'm doing the show with Brigida. Brigida? Brigida. Brigida Sanchez. It's Santos. Sure it is. Which one of Trump's kids is the best? What? They all kind of look like different reboots of the Richie Rich series. Your thoughts? I'd like to figure out who you're voting for and I'd like to copy off you because you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders and I'm just confused the more we talk. I actually don't know who I'm gonna vote for Well, either. you got four days to figure it out. Is it that you don't wanna tell me? Because a, it's a creepy situation talking to a dude in a mask. No, that's not so much it. Okay, well I appreciate that. All right. Which candidate has the bigger hands? Fred. Over to you. This does not matter. What's mm. really important are the issues, and I want you to be informed. So for Donald Trump, he has not had any experience in the White House or in politics at all. Then mm. on the other hand, you have Hillary Clinton, Criticisms of her are that she has a private persona and a public persona, so she can't be trusted. Those are the two in a nutshell, and those are your choices this year. Do I have the option to maybe write someone in? You do. Huh. And in fact, a lot of people are saying they're going to write in Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, the chicken guy. You're thinking Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Bernie Sanders. He was, he was in the army. I would like to write the rock in. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is president. Could I do that? I think you might be able to do that. The Rock's got to be president. We almost didn't need the rest of these questions. So I'd like to skip right to the last one. Great. Brigida. Brigida. Yeah. Would you be my friend? Only if you can learn how to say my name properly. Brigida. You did yeah. it. We can be friends now. Come Hell here. yeah. Oh, I get it. Huh? Bring it in. We're at that yeah. stage of the relationship. Yes. Terrific. What We're do you want to do now. first? I know a couple cool mall kiosks we could check out. 
Now that I decided I'm gonna vote for The Rock, I went down to Hollywood Boulevard on Halloween weekend to talk to some people about the prospect of him entering the presidential race. You guys, were in the middle of a heated political season. Me, personally, I'm not voting for anyone but The Rock. Do you think he'd be a good president? I would write him in. Based on looks alone? Based on looks alone. I think The Rock will make a great president. Do you think The Rock would put Vladimir Putin through a table? Probably. Okay, I would watch that. I'd watch that a thousand times. What's The Rock's nickname according to the Secret Service? Sperm Donor Champion. What would be The Rock's campaign slogan? Rock hard. <laughs> America, we're rock hard. Smoke rock? Smoke rock! Put it on a bumper sticker! Jabroni free. Jabroni free since 1983! Vote The Rock. Vote The Rock! Even if he's not anywhere on the ballot. Rock 2020, or in a couple days, whichever one. Right. Ain't all that Halloween candy. Gail! I told you to wind it out the door so I didn't hit Mary's by sale. Time to address the nation. Good. My fellow Americans, the people have spoken. And the people are sick and tired of politics. We did it. We made America sleepy as fuck. So if we're all still alive in 2020, I'll be hitting the road for The Rock's presidential run. But until then, I've got some tough choices to make and I'm beating you at home due to. But no matter what happens, what's most important is that you get your ass up out of that chair you love farting it so much and go rock the polls on Tuesday, November 8th. I'm Wrestling Fred and I'll be back next month with a special holiday themed edition of Friday Night Fred, but until then, Enjoy this picturesque montage of bald eagles flying throughout the sky while I play its grand old flag on some shitty recorder I found in the very back of the dollar store. Until then, yeah, I'm your wrestling friend, wrestling friend. And you better believe I'm going day. See you next month, everybody. Ooh, it's a tight squeeze. Gold flag. <laughs> Flying flag. What's the peace part? The pieces may you wave it around. <laughs> the land I love. <laughs> this is the part about the free and the brave. This is where they really start to break it down. <laughs>